Carbon filters are known as taste and odor filters. They also remove chemicals from your water. Chlorine if you're on a municipal water system, herbicides, pesticides, that kind of thing if you're on well water. Well, if you'd like to know the differences between the different kinds of carbon filters, and there's lots of differences, this video's for you, and I'm going to explain it to you right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. So we're going to take the example of uh, Matrix, KX Matrix. They have four different kinds of uh, carbon filters, and uh, we're going to check them out. So the first one is the CTO, and uh, and this is uh, the least costly of the bunch. It also it uh, tastes an odor filter, does a lot of good things, and then we go up to the CTO Plus. And uh, very soon we're going to learn uh, what that plus means and uh, what you get for the extra plus. It removes uh, chlorine and it also removes uh, chloramines. And then we have the, the actual chloramine filter. And uh, so that's another version that they have. And then they've got the PB1. And uh, the PB1, uh, again, does a whole bunch of things. And uh, so let's look at the specifications so we can understand a little bit more closely what each of these does. All right, so we'll start with the Matrix uh, CTO, kind of an all-around uh, filter. So let's check the specs on that one. So we can see that uh, it's 5 micron nominal rating. We can see that it's good for 12,000 gallons at 1 gallon per minute. And uh, we can see that it's about 1,000 uh, gallons uh, capacity for chloramine removal and a pressure drop of about 3 PSI. So moving on to the CTO Plus, we can see that uh, now instead of a 5 micron rating that CTO was, now it's a 1 micron rating, so it's a finer filter. We can see that it's good for 30,000 gallons of um, chlorine removal, significantly more, 2,000 gallons of chloramine removal. And uh, now this one also handles uh, VOC, volatile organic uh, compounds. Those are basically um, from industry offshoots of um, different chemicals that have been put in the water and that over the years. And uh, this will also remove 750 gallons of those at 0.5 gallons per minute flow rate. And, uh, and the pressure drop now is 5 PSI. So up next is the Chloroguard filter. And uh, so you'll see from the specifications of that, again, it's a one micron rating. Um, but chlorine reduction capacity is significantly higher than the other two filters. Now we're up to 45,000 gallons, but uh, the Chloroguard filter is actually, it, it, its claim to fame or its purpose is to remove chloramines from your water. And again, so you see chloramine reduction is up to uh, 4,000 gallons, but this also removes VOCs, volatile organic compounds. So you'll see that um, uh, what are volatile organic compounds? It's basically chemicals that, are, that have ended up in the water supply from uh, manufacturing, from aerosols, some gasoline, those kinds of things that are ending up in the water. And this will remove that 750 gallons at 0.5 gallons per minute and a five PSI pressure drop. And last but definitely not least is the KX Matrix PB1. So now we, we compare the, the specs on that and you can see that now we're at a 0.5 micron rating um, the chlorine reduction capacity is 30,000 gallons, which is quite good. The chloramine is 2,000 gallons, not as good as the, the chloroguard, but obviously that's its goal. And uh, VOC is 500 gallons at 0.5 gallons per minute, but this one also removes lead. So again, you can see quite high rating for that, 3,750 gallons at uh, a relatively 0.75 gallon per minute flow rate, but the pressure drop on this one is significantly higher than the others, 12 PSI. So if you're putting on that kind of a filter, you're gonna to need to make sure that you put on a one micron sediment filter or something like that before it, so that uh, the, the filter doesn't clog uh, prematurely just from the amount of sediment that uh, might be in your water. So which of these is the best choice for your family? Well, it depends what you're trying to accomplish. If, uh, if you're just looking for a filter for your reverse osmosis system and your municipal water system or well water, something like that, the CTO uh, will do a pretty good job. Uh, if you're on a municipal water system that has chloramines in, in, in your water, you're pro probably going to want to upgrade to the Chloroguard. Now, if you're on uh, well water or something like that, then you, you probably want to go with the PB1 because the PB1 um, not only is a taste and odor filter, but it's also going to remove lead from the water. It's going to remove VOCs from the water, volatile organic compounds, and it's going to remove cysts. Um, although the pressure drop on that one's going to be pretty high, 12 PSI, uh, just make sure that I would, would precede it by a one micron filter in that reverse osmosis system. Click over here for my next video on water filtration and I'll see you there.